Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Megan. I'm a 25 year old mama to a 10 month old little boy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's 10 months old. Um, and I share new videos about motherhood. We're honest, we're real, we're raw on this channel uh, twice a week. So if that sounds like your jam, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I'd love to have you here. Today, I'm doing a video that a lot of you guys have asked me for um, and I've been putting it off because I don't like speaking negatively about things. However, you gotta know. So today I'm talking about the baby products that I regret buying. Now, obviously this is gonna be different for everybody. Some people might absolutely love these products, um, but these are the ones that didn't work for me and that felt like a waste of money. So if you're preparing to have a baby and you're wondering what to buy, maybe just think about some of these things um, and make an informed decision of whether or not you wanna buy them. Okay, number one, the Owlet Sleep Sock. If you don't know what this is, it's a baby like heart rate and oxygen level monitor that you put on their feet. Um, and specifically, I regret buying this used. Um, I bought it on Facebook Marketplace because they are very pricey. And what I came to learn is that these things have a three year battery life. Guess how long it had been since the person that I bought it from had purchased it. Um, so this wouldn't work for us and I couldn't figure out why because the light would come on, but it would never like read anything. And at first I thought maybe it was because my son's pretty small and he had small feet and it like wasn't connecting right. But after chatting with their customer service for a bit, they basically said, oh yeah, those things have a three year battery life. After three years, they're not any good. So I can't really speak to the functionality of this. I can say that we never really got it to fit right when he was really, really small, which is when I feel like you would want to use this the most. But if you're gonna buy one of these, either don't buy them used or budget to uh, spend like the $60 or whatever it is on a new sensor. If you chat their customer service, they will give you a code um, that will let you get a new sensor for 60 bucks. The second thing, and I think this might surprise a lot of people, um, was muslin swaddles. We bought so many muslin swaddles because every video that I saw was like, you'll use them for everything. And I don't know if maybe it was just because I was a pandemic mom, but we hardly used these at all. Spoiler alert, they're not very easy to swaddle your baby in. You will probably want either one that's very stretchy or a Velcro one, which is what I would recommend. And I don't know, like maybe as a, as a car seat, like cover when you're going to the doctor's office, but like we bought like 10 of them and then never used them. So that's kind of a bummer. Definitely would recommend maybe getting one or two for cute photos and if you need one occasionally, but I would say probably get the Velcro swaddles because when your babies are really little, like they will wriggle out of these. It's impossible if you are not a nurse <laughs> to get your baby swaddled in this properly. We tried everything, so. Muslin swaddles. The next baby product that I regret buying is baby shoes. And not for the reason that you would think because everybody told me, oh, don't buy baby shoes. Like you'll never put them on. They'll just kick them off. And I was like, I'll totally put them on because they'll be like cute in outfits and like, he's not gonna kick them off if they fit properly. And I maintain that I absolutely would have. The reason that I regret purchasing these is that baby shoe sizing is super inconsistent and not very precise. Um, and newborn shoes didn't fit my son until like six months old. Um, and I imagine you might have the same issue if you have a bigger baby that they might not fit into newborn shoes because they're too small. So like we had three or four pairs of shoes, I didn't go crazy, and none of them fit for ages and everything you buy for that first year you know is like for a specific season so the shoes that i bought him that were like fall shoes like fit him now at 10 months old and they were supposed to fit him at like three or four months old so <laughs> wait maybe until after your baby is born to buy shoes i'm not gonna say don't buy shoes because baby shoes are adorable and i think they bring a lot of joy um but yeah sizing is tricky the next thing that we bought way too many of was bottles so we got a ton of bottles. We got all the little sample ones in like the welcome baby box that you get from a lot of different retailers when you make a registry. Um, I bought like a 10 pack of the ones that I originally wanted. And then a friend gave us these ones. These are the, the mini quaddle bottles. They're very expensive, but they were so good. And literally we only used those two. I'm sure this would be different if you were formula feeding. Um, I was lucky enough that I got to breastfeed. My supply was good and he had a good latch and stuff. Um, so if you are planning on pumping or doing formula, maybe disregard this one. But if you are breastfeeding, you don't need 10 bottles. 
waste of money. Going along with food, um, I regret buying specific baby food storage containers. These are the ones that we bought. They're from o Oxo Tot. Um, they were one of the like recommended ads on baby list when we made our registry. And there are two reasons that I don't recommend getting these. Number one is when you are pregnant, you probably don't have a 100% certain idea of how you're going to feed your baby as far as purees versus baby led weaning or combo feeding. And so I got these thinking that we were going to do purees and then we ended up doing baby led weaning. Um, and they're basically just small Tupperware. We did uh, purees and combo feeding just at the very beginning of when he started eating solids and it was way better to put the food in um, silicone ice cube trays when I made it, freeze it that way. It was just better portion sizes. Um, and then like we have Tupperware that's the size. Like I don't really know why I got this. I think I just got suckered into it on baby list. Another thing that I regret buying is, oh, this is heavy, a co-sleeper. <laughs> um, I got the Arms Reach co-sleeper because it was really cute. Um, and I thought that we could basically use it the same way that you use a pack and play. Um, because I didn't like the designs of any of the pack and plays that I saw, but A, it is super stinking heavy, and B, it's very small. We did have like a bassinet for him for in our room, so we didn't intend to use it for nighttime sleep, but I thought, you know, for travel, of course I didn't realize what was coming in the world, but um, for travel and stuff, I thought that would be good, and it was not, and we ended up buying a pack and play. Also, this was way more expensive than a pack and play. Again, I got it on Facebook Marketplace. It just wasn't what I wanted it to be. I thought I could get away with it and I could not. Okay, so this next one is gonna be very controversial, I think. Please don't hate me. If you love these, no judgment at all. They just didn't work for me. Um, I regret getting a ring sling. Uh, I have very well documented on this channel my baby carrying adventures. If you wanna see the video where I did a review of all of the different kinds that we have, I'll leave that up here. Um, but when Rowan was really small, we preferred the wraps. We had the Solly baby wraps and they worked really, really well. They helped me put him to sleep. They were much more comfortable. And now that he's older, we have the uh, Sakura Bloom Scout Carrier. And that just feels way more secure to me because he's very active and that really like keeps him secure. This, I just, I could never quite get it to fit right, even with doing like the like online consultation thing with them, and it just wasn't very comfortable. Um, I felt like he was gonna fall out. So they said I was wearing it the right way on the video call, and it still didn't work for me, but I do know some people who absolutely love these. Um, so if you have the opportunity, maybe try out a friend's, um, see if you can borrow a couple different kinds of carriers from any mom friends that you have to see what you like the best, because all baby carriers pretty much are fairly pricey. Um, so it's kind of a, a larger financial mistake to make. If you're a regular viewer on my channel, this is gonna shock you. Because the next baby product that I regret getting is the Jolly Jumper. And I know I sing the praises of the Jolly Jumper all the time. And the Jolly Jumper itself is awesome. What I regret is that we got the door clamp one. Um, at the time we were in an apartment, we didn't have a lot of floor space to put the one with the stand but it's been fairly impractical to have the door one because A, if you live in any kind of an open concept space, uh, there aren't a lot of door frames and likely there aren't a lot of door frames where you mainly hang out, like living room, kitchen area. Um, and so we always had to be somewhere weird if he was in this because you obviously wanna supervise them. Um, and I wish that we had just gotten the floor one especially now that we have more space like it wouldn't be a problem to just set it up somewhere but especially then like i could take it outside i just i really wish that we had gotten the one on the stand but the jelly jumper itself is super great and we really love it oh it got dark <laughs> sorry clouds are like happening it's uh the sun's going in and out of the clouds here next thing that i regret buying is a diaper bag for my husband um and again this is mostly because i breastfed there was really nowhere that my husband would go without me because Rowan needed to eat every like two hours and now every three to four hours. And so he didn't really ever need a diaper bag. The other one that we have is like fairly gender neutral anyway. I got this one just because I thought it was like really cool looking and it fits my husband's aesthetic and it is. And I think this would be a great one, like functionally. It's the City Navigator, but having multiple was just super unnecessary and I don't think that we've even used this once. I think my husband might have packed his hospital bag stuff in this, but that's been about it. That could also be skewed by the whole 
Rona thing. Then the last two things that I want to talk about are too big to have around me, so I will insert pictures. The first one is a vintage high chair. I found the cutest vintage high chair on Facebook Marketplace, and I like redid it, rehabbed it, made it look super cute. And then my baby came, and I realized that babies are very wriggly, and there is a reason that safety standards have changed so much in the last 100 years. So we haven't even gotten to use it, which is such a bummer. I think maybe when he's a little bit old maybe for his birthday party we might be able to use it but we ended up just getting the Ikea antelope high chair which is like their $20 one and then we got accessories from yeah baby goods to make it look cuter um, because it has the strap um, and it's wipeable it's plastic it's just a lot easier and that was such a bummer for me because I think antique high chairs are so precious um, but alas not very practical. And this last one is my biggest regret um, as far as baby products that we got. And it is getting a single stroller instead of a double stroller or a stroller that could at least convert to a, a double stroller. We were thinking short term, we had never done this before. Um, and we obviously weren't thinking to the second kid. We were like just about to have our first kid and like that was enough to boggle our minds. Um, but now that Rowan's getting older and we're like starting to talk about another baby in the future not now not pregnant not trying to get pregnant or anything just to clarify that was a lot of hand waving <laughs> i wish that we had a double stroller it just our stroller is so nice we have the maxi cozy zelia it's beautiful it works great the only thing i will say about it is that it is very hard to open and close but other than that it works really great and i really like it but we're gonna have to buy a whole new stroller when the second baby comes and we'll probably have to buy a more expensive one um, because it'll have to be the double one. So I wish that we had just spent the money um, up front to get the double one and then had it for longer. So yeah, those are the baby products that I regret getting. Again, different for everybody, but this is just my personal experience and I wanted to share it with you guys just to help keep you informed as you're making your registries or purchasing things for your baby. I hope that this was helpful. If you wanna see my list of must-haves for newborn or like six to nine months or whatever, um, I will make a playlist and put it here so you guys can see those videos so you know what products I do recommend and which ones we genuinely used all the time and that were lifesavers for us. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you a lot and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!